Stress is not what happens to us. It's our response to what happens, and response is something we can choose. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trish TV, Trish Talk Tuesdays. So today we're going to be talking about a very important topic. I want to share with you guys a few tips to help you manage your stress and anxiety if you're currently going through a hard time, especially going through the second wave of this pandemic that we've been experiencing since last year. So the most important thing that I've learned so far is to just take some time out. It's super duper important just to take a time out, take a breather, and just kind of step back from whatever it is that you're going through. One thing that I am learning is to kind of listen to music that helps me relax. I'm really into jazz and I love oldies jazz, like that 50s era. I don't know what it is about that era, but I really love that type of oldies jazz music. I also like to listen to nature sounds, the sound of nature, whether it be waterfalls or the sound of waves crashing or the birds, whatever it is, anything that kind of brings me peace and takes me away mentally from my current situation. Also take a few deep breaths. Just inhale and exhale slowly. Inhale whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that's been on your mind and just exhale everything. Within that moment, just let go of it for a few moments and really get in tune with yourself and taking it one slow breath at a time. One thing that I'm really starting to understand is accepting that I cannot control everything. I'm one of those type of people, I like to be control of, of everything. You really have to accept that you simply cannot control everything. A lot of things are just out of your control and you just have to find the best ways to control what you can and the things that you can't control. You just have to put your best foot forward and try your hardest to keep a peaceful and good attitude. Really put your stress in perspective. Is it as bad as you think it is? And if it is as bad as you think it is, that's when you have to take a step forward and seek counsel. One of the first things that I like to do is pray. I just like to put myself in that zone and just kind of sit quietly. If I have to turn some lights off, do what I have to do just to get rid of all the distractions. I turn my phone off for a little bit. Just get rid of any notifications that I might have from social media so that when I'm praying, I can really get in tune with God and really actually have a real conversation as if I'm talking to a friend. Let go of everything that's bothering me and really just talk it out. To me, it's the best form of meditation because you're not only in a quiet space, you know, in a good zone, giving it over to someone that you trust. This is a hard one for me, but I'm trying. You want to make sure that you eat well-balanced meals. So this was actually one of the things I had on my list for the resolution in 2021. I definitely want to eat better. I'm not saying that I can't have some of my favorite foods like pizza, chocolate, ice cream, but you definitely want to make sure that you're doing those things in moderation, but eating more of the things that are actually healthier for you. I do go on Pinterest very often. They do have a lot of great meal plans on there. If you're just starting out and you're a beginner like me and you just kind of want to look for different ideas or different recipes to try to make sure that you're eating a little bit healthier than you are not eating healthy. Definitely seek out different um, sources that you can go to. You also want to learn what triggers your anxiety. To be so stressed out, if you were actually going through a lot of stress before this whole pandemic hit, ask yourself what triggered it. Did you deal with it? More than likely you did not, which is why it's still occurring and causing you so much stress and anxiety. Find out what that is and healthy ways to deal with it. If you don't have anyone that you're close to, whether it's a best friend or a family, mem family member that you can speak to, you might want to seek professional help. Doesn't mean that anything is wrong with you. It just means that you need to seek help from a professional, someone who is certified and is trained to talk to people who are going through stressful times in their lives and can give you some health, healthy tips and advice on how to deal with and sort out what you're going through. In all things, everything that you do, make sure that you're doing your best, but try not to aim for perfection. I feel like that's one thing that can really cause stress is when we want everything 
to be perfect, like tip top perfection, but that's impossible because we are not perfect beings. So everything that we touch will not be perfect. More than likely they will be imperfect, but that's the beauty in it is being able to be imperfect, but you're putting your best foot forward and doing the best that you can. So try not to beat yourself up so bad about whether it be work or school or YouTube, you know, whatever you're into, just do your best and trust that you'll get better and better with whatever craft or whatever job or career you have. Just put your best foot forward. Another thing that's really helped me, and I've spoken to you guys about this before, is a journal. I love to journal. I've actually been writing since I was a little girl. I think I started taking writing very seriously when I was about 10 years old. Writing has always been like an outlet for me. Whenever I've had a hard time expressing myself, not really knowing the exact words to say. My words always came out better in writing. I could literally talk to someone about something, but then I can write what it is and my words would actually reach the person better than it would me speaking verbally. It's just something that I've always tapped into and it's always helped me. I've also mentioned before that it's also very important to watch your surroundings. So if you are going through a hard time right now, but you're also close friends with those who keep up a lot of drama, who may always have something going on, that may be a, sort of a trigger for you as well. Just watch the people that you hang out with, the people that you're close to. Some people may come off to be good people, but not everybody has good intentions for you. So do make sure that you're watching your surroundings watching who you hang out with, who's actually feeding, maybe feeding your stress. You weed those people out. Um, it makes all the difference as well when you're going through really hard times. Take a step back off of social media. Put everything that you're going to into perspective. Sometimes when we're watching people on our left and our right, it can distract you from dealing with whatever it is that you need to deal with. Don't feel the need to make an, a public announcement that you're gonna be taking a step back from social media. I've seen that one too many times and I honestly don't feel like it's necessary. So the people that you're the closest to that check up on you, those are the only people that I feel like you may need to individually reach out to if you feel like you have to, to let them know, hey, you may not see me on my pages for a while, but no worries, I'm okay. Because some people actually do look to your pages to see what's going on. If they see you haven't posted in a while, they automatically assume something is wrong. So just take a step back and deal with what you have to deal with before you come back on. I do hope these tips help you out a little bit. Just certain things that you can do. I know these are small things, but it really is a small things that can really help you out a lot with managing your anxiety and stress but of course if you feel like you do need to go ahead and take that step to talk to a professional please do consider it it's very very helpful I also want to leave you some information that you'll see in my description below this is a website that you can go to that has a lot of different resources if you or someone you know is going through a really hard time it may be very helpful to them and also helpful for you as well looking at these resources and really learning different ways to compartmentalize and manage my stress is very very helpful to me so I encourage you to do what you have to do in a healthy way to deal with whatever you have going on. Always know that you're not alone. We're all going through it right now. We're all trying to look for a good way to deal with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't be shy, I'd love to have you along. And I will see you guys right here next week on Trish Talk Tuesdays. Bye.